Hi everyone and welcome to the next part of this Mimi blog thingy multi-parter. Today we'll go over chapter 3 of the manga comparing it to the changes done in the anime. Let's get this show on the road. I've already covered what happened at the beginning of chapter 3 due to most of its elements already being shown in chapter 2 of the anime. So here's the basic rundown. Ichigo and Aoyama talking about red data animals, him inviting Ichigo to his house to discuss the subject further, and Ryo kidnapping Ichigo before she has a chance to go were never shown in the anime. Ichigo and Minto starting to work at the cafe, minus the touchy-feely moments Ryo had, were shown in Episode 2. Also, as I mentioned in the first part of this comparison, Ichigo meeting Retosu for the first time and the introduction of the three bullies happened in the first chapter of the manga, but the situations between the two were very different. Now let's tread into new territory. Ichigo having to do all the work at the cafe while Minto sitting on her butt drinking tea are the same in both versions. The only minor difference is that in the manga, Ichigo is working for the first time, persuaded into doing it after finding out that she gets paid 1,000 yen an hour. In the anime, she's been working there for some time and was originally persuaded when finding out that she gets to eat as much cake and snacks as she wants for free. The scene where the bullies talk about the ghost girl, forcing Retosu to check it out, Ichigo throwing fake parfaits in their faces, Keiichiro handling the bullies with his charming charm of charmingness. <sighs> Anyways, that and Ichigo and Retosu formally introducing themselves, Mito suspecting the so-called ghost being a chimera anima, and Ichigo's ghost phobia are all pretty much the same in both versions. The only difference is that the bullies talk about the ghost in more detail in the manga, going so far as suspecting that it could be a spirit of a former student that committed suicide, and claiming that it's already nearly drowned another student. Now we get to the biggest change between the two. In the anime, after Ichigo screams about being scared of ghosts, we immediately go to a scene of her trying to sneak out of the cafe after work, only to have Minto catch her and practically drag her to Retosu's school on a leash. In the manga, Minto doesn't take her right away. Instead, Minto herself had to leave the cafe early to attend a traditional Japanese dancing class, which is never mentioned in the anime. We then transition to closing time, and Ichigo asks Keiichiro where Ryo's at, and he mentions that he's in his room. Ichigo is about to leave, but then decides to chew Ryo out for forcing her into all these situations and doesn't even do so much as to tell her that she's done a good job. So she rushes to his room to find him shirtless. She notices how empty his room is and then starts wondering why Ryo owns a cafe at his age and how he knows about the aliens or how he found out about her. Ryo then spots her and immediately puts a shirt on. Then Ichigo starts stating how rude he's been, only to hear his stomach growling. Ichigo then makes him some rice balls, which Ryo mentions how plain and boring they look, but ends up complimenting Ichigo on how good they taste. Ichigo gets embarrassed and leaves, and then runs into Minto, who then puts a leash on her and they head for the school. In the anime, this scene doesn't happen until episode 5, which I find strange since other than this scene, almost the entire episode is filler. Also, Ichigo making Ryo rice balls did not happen in the anime. Also, the manga shows Masha being able to eat and drink human food, while the anime only shows him eating parasite aliens. Masha was also with Ryo in the manga since he wasn't given to Ichigo until Volume 2, while in the anime he was given to Ichigo in the previous episode. Ichigo and Minto inspecting the pool, Minto scaring Ichigo on purpose, and then finding out the ghost is Retosu is the same in both versions. Although the stuff that happens in between are different. In the manga, they inspect the pool and run into one of the bullies, who has been nearly drowned by the ghost. The only thing she can mention is Retosu, leading Ichigo and Minto to believe that Retosu is in danger. The anime replaces this with them seeing nothing suspicious about the pool at first, so they inspect inside the school, which leads to more of Ichigo's scaredy-cat antics. In the manga, they further inspect the pool only to be attacked by water. They transform and seem to have defeated whatever the water monster was and continue to look for Retosu. Ichigo suddenly gets grabbed and dragged under the water, and Mew Mint saves her. They then see something rise out of the water, only to discover that it's Retosu. In the anime, Ichigo and Minto hear something in the school hallway, only to find some water on the floor. The water faucets suddenly turn on on their own and water rushes out. Minto transforms and follows the water mass while Ichigo is hunched over scared. Masha tells her that there's a chimera anima and Ichigo sees someone suspicious out the window and transforms. It turns out that the person following was Kish, who leaves before Ichigo can find him. Ichigo then goes to Mew Mint, who finishes off the water monster. Ichigo thinks that the fight was too easy, and they both notice a glow nearby. They turn to see that the ghost is Retosu. This is where Chapter 3 of the manga ends, but Episode 3 of the anime covers quite a bit more. Also, in the manga, it wasn't Kish who was following them. But all of that is for the next blog, which means that this is the end of this Mimi blog thingy. If there are any Mimi topics you want me to talk about, put it in the comments below. Tune in next time where we'll finish off Volume 1 by covering the changes done in Chapter 4.